this is beyond a dream come true. I mean, to see so many people come together. We want the brightest and the best brains in the world to help us solve the seemingly most intractable problems. It's not about the money you throw at a problem. It's critical analysis, it's intelligence, it's innovation, it's entrepreneurial skills, it's business skills. So we're bringing all that to the table and the winning team comes with me to the front line. Hi, we, we are, are the UCLA Race for Good Team. On Saturday, April 25th, 2015, a massive 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck Nepal. Thangdor, a rural village isolated in the Himalayas of Nepal, received zero aid. Our team's goal is to economically empower this forgotten village. Linda Cruz, international frontline worker and founder of Be The Change, created the Race For Good competition as a way for students like us to get involved in your incredible work. The philosophy is simple. Find an uplifting solution for a struggling community that is tailor fit to the people's needs and helps them become financially independent again. After three weeks of contact with local village leaders as well as guidance from business leaders and experts, we have developed a business plan that we believe will sustainably uplift Thangdor Village. when you least expect it. My big motto is be the change you want to see in the world. I have it, Andy. But now comes the most important moment. I'm going to introduce you to Sue Stevenson, Chair of Judges. So today we heard from some of the most exceptional students that I've ever heard from. We heard five teams who've given their all for the last well, I'm going to call it four weeks at least. And I want to thank every one of you for the effort, for the energy, for the commitment, and for the brilliant ideas that you came up with. And the winning team is UCLA. was judged by village leaders in Thangdor as well as a panel of judges and we're excited to announce that we are going to Nepal to put our project into action. See you on the front line! During the process with Race for Good I learned a lot. Uh, things that kind of surprised me were the impact that we can make in a very short period of time. It was 21 days. Um, that really had life-changing results and it really makes everybody think about the world, um, what's really important in life at the end of the day. From a business perspective, to actually spend time and allow your associates, your employees to uh, focus on something besides the bottom line uh, for the company, I think says a lot about the business. And when you help someone else, um, there's no other feeling like it. It's not something that you can buy. You can only have that feeling through the, uh, the experience of you know, serving others.
Beekeeping is part of our business plan and we're just hoping that they can make a profit out of the honey and sell it and also consume part of it because it has a lot of health benefits for them. It will really benefit the villagers a lot because it's not very labor intensive and at the same time it can bring a lot of economic benefits. Thank you so much for teaching here today. It's all about economic empowerment. We're hoping that this will be an easy way that you can be self-sustainable.